Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kingsley and today we're going to walk through one of the most important parts of working with OpenCTI, which is how to upload data into your threads intelligence platform. Um, before we go down into this, let me quickly explain what OpenCTI is. OpenCTI or Open Cyber Threat Intelligence Platform is an open source tool that helps analysts and um, researchers centralize structures and visualize their intelligence. Now, in this part, we're going to start by preparing for upload. As you can see here, in your home, um, also, you can add, like from my previous videos, I mentioned about adding um, other connectors. Uh, here, I have added MISP to my connector, which is active. You can see all the connectors I have. Um, MISP is the only, for now, is the only external or extra connector I have added. All these other ones here are the default connectors um, from OpenCTI. So first things uh, to start with is to upload the file. Now in this case, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step import. You can use direct import, automatic import, whatever, but I prefer to use step-by-step -step import. Um, and browse files. I already have a set of um, files that I have. So I'm going to use it. Put it. Add some more. All these are simulated. Um, all these are simulated. Yeah. It's up to you if you want to add them in batches or just want to add them or upload them all at once. So you click on next. All right, so name it whatever you want. I can name mine. Um, IOCC. Okay, that's Amber for now. Yeah, you can see draft has been uploaded. And we'll just wait. And it's done. So now we have yet to draft. Yes, this nine files has been imported. And on here, we just have to wait for it to be processed. You can exit draft. All right, 
Um, I'm going to because I like having I like having a custom dashboard. So exit drafts, go to dashboards, custom dashboard, import dashboard from hub. So here is um if you have a filigram account, you can import. But I already have um uh, some saved dashboards which I like already, which I imported from hub as well. So imports hub download I really like this so socks server Here, this is very different from the default dashboard. And we can go back to our draft and see how it's going. Um, to be fair, I think I shouldn't have done uh, uploaded so much files. But in the meantime, I'll just have to do with it and come back when it's done. Yes, yeah, so you can see the um, files have been uploaded successfully and now we can approve draft. Now go to our custom dashboard and see if there is yep yeah, it's loading. So here you can see to the entities. Oh, okay. This is the first file IOCC that we um, imported, and um, it hasn't finished. Okay, I see it hasn't finished um, validating. It's in process, or we just wait until the data has been validated completely. and 62%, so just wait. All right, while well, I don't have the patience to wait for 100% validation, uh, you can just go ahead, threat actors, you can see these are the threat actors that um, that we have here. Um, see the description. Here you can see the last relationships or their relationships rather and knowledge part shows you total you can see they only has two um total relationships yeah and this diamond just shows you that um their last aliases last known pattern and just shows you the diamond and then here you can have a timeline Just explore all of this. So knowing most of these things would help you um, interpret what data you have here.
So this you see here that the relationship here, this threat actor group called Nebula Spider, they use a malware called Star Dropper. Now, this malware Star Dropper, you can read up server. Okay, so you can see um so star drop star dropper is a type of malware is a dropper malware it's also known as dropper is a type specific type of malware software malicious software which is malware um designed to de deliver and execute other forms of malware onto devices so looking at this you can see that this nebula spider they use this malware to onto a victim's system uh just going back to confirm okay it's done complete it's 100 percent yeah so now you can see the total entities you can see last injected reports you can see active entities which is nebula spider and number of relationships one um so no targeted countries has been found on here here you can see that is a 50 50 between network traffic and ipv4 address you can explore some of this um this um, data so you go to groupings can i find anything yep so this groupings you can see the author you can see the contents if it's suspicious um so suspicious um url and yep yeah, so these are all phishing url this one is iocp ip address and um yeah all of it and if you go to malware analysis they should load up okay there's no analysis on the malware it's not references there's nothing on there nothing on incident report responses no task incidents so you just explore all of this all right so this unknown data um you can see it's misp um destination and all of that marking known you can explore to find out more details about it Yep, so you can see network is unknown. You can expand it. IPv4 address. This shows you the type the IP. Sightings, data, history. So yeah, this is all about um, importing importing your IOCs or your data to analyze um, using op open open CTI. And yeah, that's about it for this section.